Hi everyone, welcome to Healing Souls. So dear friends, I really don't know what this universe has started with me every day. They want to give me guidance messages to be posted for somebody out there. And might be the the time frame is such, the planets are such that, you know, most probably somebody out there is very well connected to the universal realm and they are being guided by their angels, guides, universe, God who wants me to you who wants to use me as a channel and it's my honor to give this message to you. So here I am again. <clears throat> In front of you you can see three cards. The first one is the tar, four of swords and the judgment. So what I understand through these cards that at present with the tar card, uh, I believe your body is going through some changes. Um, your root chakra, your third eye chakra, your crown chakra, as well your solar plexus chakra, almost all of your chakras, I can see are releasing some energies. If you have a closer glance at the card, you would be able to read the card just the way I am reading it. If we consider the tar as your body, these people who are falling out of your life are actually falling out of your life because of a certain change in the inside of your body. If I consider these windows as your solar plexus chakra, it seems that you had attracted a few narcissistic, toxic, low vibrational beings into your body. Now they can be people on the earth realm and for some of you there could have been evil spirit attachments in your body these attachments are being released from the lower part of the tar if you see there's an energy releasing this is your root chakra your grounding and from the head the crown area that is our crown chakra and the third eye there is another energy releasing that is how i'm i'm reading this card today every card will give a different interpretation as to what channel message they want to give with this reading today, what they are telling me that there is a whole lot of energy being released from all of your chakras. And this star which seems to be breaking, that means that your body which is seemingly going under a transition period wherein you might be at times feeling very angry because of your third eye chakra, crown chakra release or sometimes you are having this fiery feeling in your stomach, acidity, sometimes you know there are loose motions or a lot of farting or might be you know uh, constipative energies in the lower chakras. All of this is a period of a massive, massive, massive energy healing that is taking place in inside of your body. With the Four of Swords card also, I see a person who is resting wherein the period of recovery is taking place. And what is the guidance for you for this period? Stay away from any negative person, place or situation. Stay away from people. This is a time frame for you to concentrate a lot on your own healing, to concentrate a lot on your own peace. This person in Four of Swords is a warrior, is a soldier who is pretending to be dead because they are very much tired of fighting the war. They want to rest and because they will not be allowed to rest, they are pretending to be dead on a coffin. That is how I am reading this card and uh, that is what is being guided for you. Pretend to be dead to the outside world to take your own rest. Any phone calls that you are receiving, any messages that you are receiving, you are not to attend to anybody right now because your own energies are going through an upheaval. And this foundation of your body, which was weak, which was built on certain traumas, wherein the inner child was not weak, all of these lack energies, scarcity energies, all of these negative energies are going out of your body because of the Kundalini activation that has taken place in your body. 
Now, if I see it as a result of outside what will happen in your outside world also because of these changes in your energy frequency, your outside world is about to change very soon. Now again they tell me it is in the month of March only. With the judgment card, there is a rebirth that is going to happen. If you see closely at the card of the judgment, you will see that there is an angel, there is an archangel who is blowing a trumpet, who is giving their final verdict on your karma. And here you rise from the coffins. So here is your rebirth and you are absolutely nude to face the world in your authentic self. And this is your second chance to have a rebirth in this birth only. But the whole process that you are going through might be is very tough. It might be it is the shadow period that you are going through and your belief system keeps shaking. Whether these new things are going to manifest for me or not. With the dark card in the outside world what will happen? In the outside world, your frequency will change from inside and might be your place of living is going to very soon change. Your relationship dy dynamics are very soon going to change. Your uh, work area is very soon going to change. So a lot is changing for you and a period of recovery and healing is occurring for you. Just believe and trust that all that is blessed for you to show up in this birth is going to come towards you. I do understand that an emotionally secured loving family is very important to you and that is the base of your strength and that is going to grow for you and you are going to see from here from the month of March itself. They are telling me that from October Last year until December, there was a massive period that you have gone through ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. You started recovering from that period and again from December until March, again there were upheavals, upheavals. But now they are telling you that you are on the verge of a rebirth. What is heading towards you, dear friends, is happiness, you climbing towards success, light-hearted carefree times this energy that you feel so dense is about to leave there are going to be reconciliations in your romantic life dear friends and there is a beautiful message that the spirit has for you and they say everything is in divine order even in chaos there is order and we are always in awe of this for you though on your human journey Things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. So very clear message over here, dear friends, is to cleanse your mind. And I am seeing that there is an energy releasing from your third eye chakra and crown chakra and you are being asked to take healings. Might be you take all chakra healings and you need to declutter your mind. The stories, the old stories of victimhood that you have been telling, the fearful stories need to be released now. Instead focus on your now. Empty your mind. So this is a message of massive decluttering because your inside body is decluttering from energies and so your energies of the outside body frequency need to match that. Empty your mind, clear your house and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Alright, so this is very clear. Any clothes that you have worn in past which remind you of some sad incidences need to be decluttered, need to be, you know, thrown out. Any such item in your house of the de decoration that reminds you of a sad story needs to be out of your home. Any such pictures, any such photographs, even I would suggest dear friends, go to your Facebook pages, go to your WhatsApp pages, delete the pictures of any such person 
who is negative towards you if you have their pictures stored with you you need to delete them declutter them release that energy from your life dear friends delete the contacts but delete the pictures also they could be your close family members also dear friends who have negative uh, impact on you or the friends uh, old friends who turned out to be frenemies release them all empty your mind clean your house and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story discern what you have sort purge clear and organize so very important very very important sort out things only things which give you positive memories positive energies need to be with you purge out everything clear and organize and here i would also talk about spiritual purge do your spiritual detoxification practices sage yourself do your meditations do your yoga go for your walk eat clean and also if if you want to take take healings organize yourself dear friends for the success that is heading into your life we want you to have space to fill with something better so this something is about to enter every day they are giving me this month month of march month of march like you know 17 they gave a message 18 they gave a message 19 they are giving me a message that create that space you are not creating that space where that good news is going to fill in spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy empty your houses dear friends empty your hearts of pain empty your mind of pain declutter your friendships let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains see them and know their value so whatever you want to keep in your life give order to that see value in whatever you want to pursue keep in your life wonderful your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us that is the spiritual realm and to spirit and to f- sorry your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit and you should be free of distractions wonderful message dear friends i'll try to find out a few healings to declutter you they will help you in decluttering they will help you in uh, you know staying away from distractions and uh, two of the healings i'm going to post and there is a playlist of you know uh, to ward off negative energy you can take that spirit absolutely adores and loves you dear friends so and they are connecting your guides your guardian angels your ancestors are connecting every day with me for you know using me as a channeler thank you so much divine thank you so much to the divine beings who are using me as a channel to give this message to somebody who is in need believe 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 best of the best is about to enter your life and massively i see this is emotional security for your family also there is happiness there is light hearted carefree energy and you climbing towards success that is what they want to manifest for you and it is going to start to begin again i say this is a timeless reading but if you are seeing it when i am making it it's going to be in the month of march only create space create space create space thank you very much dear friends if you resonate with this reading you can comment down below claim this reading you can subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed you can share our work with your friends and family members thank you very much dear friends lots of love and best wishes